دكتور احمد يو ار اون اير جود مورنينج فيري جود مورنينج تو يو يور سيلف يور كوليك اند يو نو ذا برودكشن تيم از ويل از ذا ريسبكتد اودينس You are most welcome, Dr. Ahmed Ashat. I already met you a couple of times before, so we are honored to be with us today in the show and also our co-host, Emil, also. The honor and the pleasure is mine. Yes, and good morning. We know that we had some difficulties, but we are back again. So it's better late than never, doctor. Uh, first hand, doctor, we want to know what was the Kuwait strategy in confronting COVID-19, please? Well, let me just emphasize that what happened is international event when we talk about the pandemic. Mm -hmm. What Kuwait has been through is not something unique to Kuwait. As a matter of fact, all the whole world <clears throat> has faced a new uh, virus, a new pandemic, and together we, we, we made a difference. When we talk about Kuwait, uh, we are very proud that the fact we have anticipated and we had early leadership and uh, Uh, strength, uh, strengthen messages and uh, procedures mm -hmm. to provide it. Three wings of our strategy. First of all, to stop people coming from Kuwait. And there where we early, we have stopped uh, receiving people from, you know, all the ports, the air force, the marine force, as well as across the border. Uh, and there we were following, uh, you know, uh, uh, vigilantly all the data to have our list of uh, maybe 13 or 14 countries where we were extra vigilant uh, to receive their uh, citizens or the planes that's coming from their airport to minimize the damage. The other uh, wing of, of that strategy or dimension is the fact we try to minimize the uh, spread of the disease in, in, in Kuwait and that depends on the Uh, messaging, which is here we are talking about knowledge and awareness, uh, about the procedure which started by organizing uh, uh, the, the many, many kind of uh, procedures through the, uh, the cabinet of ministers every now and then. Now we are in the fourth phase and earlier we have, uh, for every phase we have put some criteria and minimize people going to work. Uh, many were staying home and having their salary, uh, uh, things like that. And also we were trying to have curfews, and that curfew sometimes was partial or, or complete in some area where we have noticed and detected uh, focuses of this uh, diseases, especially in the uh, maybe contractor uh, dormancy and buildings and Uh, things like that. So nice. Uh, Dr. That Ahmed Ashati, may I interrupt you on this point? You already, thank you for sharing this information, but we need to shed a light more about how did the country combat the spread of virus inside the, the country itself, Dr. Ahmed? Yeah, well, I'm talking about three strategies. First of all, within the country, we have spread knowledge. We have made criteria and guidelines for every single situation. We talked about most, what to do and not to do. Uh, more not to do, uh, to do or not to do. We have advices the families. We have advices those who are at work. We have advices those as a healthcare worker. So there was sophisticated uh, roadmap for everybody to follow to minimize the spread of uh, uh, the, the, the disease in Kuwait. And this is the third, the second dimension. The third dimension is we have set up an infrastructure. Uh, we acted very quickly. Uh, to minimize the, the impact of that disease uh, through uh, multiple uh, increase in the number of beds at hospital, number of beds at the ICUs, intensive care units. Uh, we had our field kind of hospitals, uh, which, was, uh, which were built very quickly. We had our quarantine areas, more than 20 all over the places. Uh, we cannot forget the uh, Amiri or... Uh, decree or, or order uh, from uh, uh, the, the, the late Amir of Kuwait when we have uh, uh, just received over 35,000 Kuwaiti within two weeks coming from all over the world. We were continuous and sustainable in providing all these setups, healthcare setups with medicine, with, the, uh, with the equipment, with the trained uh, Uh, qualified personnel from the health team 
uh, we reorganized and restructured the uh, service providing uh, so we minimize the, uh, the the crowdness and take advantage of the uh, capable people mm -hmm. within the needed within uh, a time frame that will achieve our goals and objectives mashallah uh, dr ahmed i have noticed that you have talked a little bit about the crowdness and i know that in ahmedi health area there is a vast amount of population in it from kuwaitis and uh, residents could you shed a little bit of light on the plan executed in adan hospital ahmadi area to reduce the effect of the pandemic among kuwaiti citizens and residents because we know that there was a lockdown in umul hayma uh, not umul hayma i mean mahbula isn't that yeah. right so that was with you uh, i think it is uh, really back to the ahmadi health uh, department with you well, uh, let me say something. What has happened in, in, in Ahmadi mm -hmm. was not isolated exception. As a matter of fact, all other areas. And in Ahmadi area, we are serving our catchment area is 1,300,000. Uh, 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 yeah, 300,000. Yes. So there was a population. The, the criteria there is around 60, 65% of them are Kuwaiti. Mm -hmm. Like any other area, there was residential area for Kuwaitis and some commercial area where people of, of the non-Kuwaiti were living there with the buildings, uh, usually accommodate the workers of many of the, those companies. Uh, it goes without saying that some of them are crowded. They don't have necessarily uh, the, the uh, ideal situation of uh, for forbidding the the spread of the disease, especially if you are talking about four to five, and maybe sometimes in some cases we yes. have noticed seven in, in the same room with using the same toilet, and uh, they don't have uh, the, the luxury of, of uh, uh, being away from that crowd. So that was an area where we have detected an influx of new cases coming from uh, this area. So according to the facts and numbers, uh, Mahbula was one of the areas where we had uh, uh, a complete lockdown. Mm -hmm. uh, but having said that, we were following them, providing them with nutrition. We, establ we established the uh, Mahbula field, the hospital, <coughs> where uh, it, it was amazing. We just started, we, we put the first pillar of that hospital on Sunday, on, uh, on Thursday. On Sunday, we start receiving the patients. We have uh, enlarging the capacity of bed to reach up to 100, uh, where we are receiving all these uh, cases uh, of uh, COVID or suspected COVID. So that has minimizes or reduced the, uh, the, the pressure uh, and the burden on emergency department and Adan Hospital. Also, we, that, that hospital was well equipped with X-ray, with lab, with uh, even dental clinic and 12 different uh, clinics, including mental health mm -hmm. and including, you know, all the chronic disease and uh, respiratory and many other uh, uh, clinics. Okay. And by the end of that, we have noticed that we uh, have served uh, tens of thousands of the people during the uh, few months where we have established and received uh, the area uh, residents. Uh, having said that, I have to uh, uh, mention that that was a genuine uh, input from the Ministry of Health, but we cannot forget the National Guard people who were uh, putting all their capabilities and resources to make it a success, including mm -hmm. their medical uh, teams and sectors uh, as well. Uh, let alone uh, minister police, yes. let alone the firefighters, all. Uh, so it was a multidisciplinary exercise we have, where we responded with, with a lot of harmony uh, <coughs> for that emergency situation. Uh, that, that really is a vast and uh, humongous uh, job. You all, uh, in, including all the army, the frontliners, uh, each and every person of you have done uh, Dr. Ahmed al Shati, we really thank you a lot for those information and for the effort that you really put 
into the uh, places that you are working to and among all those people, Abdelaziz. Yeah, for sure, and we'd like to greet, uh, we are speaking already to the Dr. Ahmed Ashati, Director Ahmadi Health Area. He already sharing with us about their role in the pandemic, Ahmed.